once again, we're from Dayton Hamvention 2018 here at the Xenia Fairgrounds. These two interviews were both be from Ellacraft, uh, describing their new amp, uh, legal limit amplifier that they released a while back that is available for pre-sale. Here, well, it's available for order here um, with a few weeks waiting list, but it is in production currently. Uh, they started shipping units a few months ago, and you can order them, and they're just backlogged because they're getting so many orders, which is a good thing. And then a new antenna system that they're going to talk to us about. So uh, Ellacraft, one of the great USA-made radios of today that are really good for extreme QRP situations and in the shack or on de-expedition. So thanks again to the guys at Ellacraft that allowed me to record this video. And let's take a look. Okay, I am with David KG KG6 IRW. I didn't remember your call yeah. sign, so <laughs> so I don't either. Yeah, <laughs> David did it. Was that at Ham? Was that at Hamvention or Orlando that I recorded your forum a couple years uh, last that year? Was Ham, I think it was Hamvention. I think yeah. it was Hamvention. Yeah. yeah, last year yeah. that I recorded your uh, just a presentation on yep. Ellacraft. Yep. So today they have the new KPA 1500 Legal Limit amplifier. Um, on display, and they have one broken down, and David's going to tell us about it, so yeah, please. Good morning, and uh, good thanks, morning. For, <laughs> thanks for everybody uh, tuning in. Uh, we've got our brand new KPA 1500 uh, up and running. Uh, they're shipping now, which is great for us. It's great for our customers. Thank you for, for those of you who have an order uh, in. Thank you for your wait. It's really turned out to be a great amp, uh, according to the guys that have already gotten theirs. Good. And uh, we look forward to shipping a whole bunch more. Uh, the exciting part about it is, is that not only does this amp uh, represent a, a legal limit amp for Ellacraft, uh, it also allows us to connect these up with not only Ellacraft radios, but anybody else's as well. In fact, we've got a marketing campaign uh, here at Dayton this weekend uh, called Plays Well With Others. Right. And playing <laughs> well with others means that you can connect these, uh, the uh, KPA 1500 or our 500 watt amp and tuner, uh, to other radios, and for in in the specific case of the KPA 1500, we can uh, connect up a uh, ICOM. So if you've got a 7610 or a 7300 or a Flex uh, 6000 series, 6000 series, uh, yeah, we can connect those directly to the um, uh, amp so that the amp can read the VFO frequency. Now that's so it in follows you up and down the band. That's exactly right. So that's exciting because the built-in antenna tuner in the KPA 1500 mm -hmm. can pre-select the tuning elements it needs. So as soon as you QSY to a frequency, it's ready to transmit. That's cool. So for a really fast QSY, mm -hmm. search and pounce, mm -hmm. busting a pile up really quick and getting gone. Yeah, we've got the amp and uh, able to go. do that at 1500 watts or at 500 watts. And 500 which is either, really either exciting. So a lot of folks like to see inside the amp. So we've got one here. Uh, this is the transmitter side. Uh, our power. Um, these are our output devices right here. Uh, they're each rated at 1,400 watts themselves, so we're only running about 50% derating on this, which is really wow. exciting. Wow. Okay. Um, on top of that, you can see the uh, large Anderson power poles. Are po <laughs> Notice that the uh, power supply is actually physically separate. We've got a separate cabinet. You can sit on the floor, get it out of the way. And the RF deck then is sitting up on the table. With that's you. nice. That's yeah. not that. So yeah, that's a good design. You can separate those for uh, five and a half feet each. Mm -hmm. It's really uh, a nice. Gives you plenty of options for placement. Uh, on the front side, oh, this thing's <laughs> a little bit heavy. <laughs> it's about twenty-two pounds. A very serious piece of heat mm -hmm. sink. Mm -hmm. um, air, air is taken in. Uh, it's actually taken in the back and blows out the front and then underneath. So we cycle okay. air in a positive way. A little bit different from other amps, but there's a method to the madness there. On top of that, there's a built-in antenna, fully automatic 1,500-watt antenna tuner that's okay. built right into the amplifier itself. Wow. Uh, speaking of all that uh, I.O., all the inter interfacing is done back here on the back. We can do ba ba BCD band data. We can do CIV. We can do... Uh, uh, a uh, direct connection, of course, with the K3 and the K3S for us. Right. But any other radio, you've got the capability of hooking up in either basic mode, where the built-in frequency counters take, uh, figure out in about 100 milliseconds. Okay. Uh, that's usually what it takes uh, to figure out what um, uh, frequency you've uh, selected and run with it. So you can hang any radio you want on it as well. Good, good. Okay. So really and, that's two, and that's two antenna ports, so you can yes. have... 
two separate antennas. That's one input, two antennas. I talked to Yezu earlier, yeah. and they got the, their new SDR model coming out. It uh -huh. has two antennas plus a receive antenna. Yes. So you can have a beam and a dipole or, yep. a, or a vertical or yep. something up like yep. that and just yep. switch back and forth yep. all right there. That's exactly right. Okay. So it's really exciting from that standpoint. So there you go. That's our okay. KPA 1500. It's uh, awesome. 59.95. Okay. Uh, we've got about a nine to ten week shipping point at uh, uh, time of order to shipment. So we're okay. and we're working that backlog down real fast. Built to built built when you order it, probably right. Uh, actually, we're um, right now we we're, we're building them and building them as quickly as we can. Okay. And then uh, uh, getting those backlogs. We've got a ba quite a lot of a backlog, uh, but still order today. About nine to ten weeks, nine you'll have it your, on your front Perfect. door. All right, David, that's some exciting stuff. So right. uh, definitely a step in the right direction with the legal limit and the multiple yes, radio interface. Thanks so, a lot. Yeah. Thanks, David. Appreciate right, it, man. See you, Jason. Yeah, you too. Right. Bye-bye. Once again, uh, new stuff from Ellicraft. I'm here with Wayne in 6KR, and you're calling it the AXT or the AX or the AXT system? That's the AX line. AX line. Right. Okay. So. Okay, uh, tell us what it is. Just start sure. from the beginning. So. <laughs> As you know, we have the KX line, uh -huh. so that's our line of uh, extreme radio, right? <laughs> extreme QRP, right? <laughs> or to quote, to quote uh, one of my friends, Aid Weiss, uh, when you're operating QRP, uh -huh. if there's a place and you can get to it, you must operate from there. <laughs> so that's, that's what the KX line there is you designed go. for. Okay. So for quite a while now, we've um, really wanted to have our own antenna system. Okay called the AX line. So mm -hmm. again, this is the X is for extreme. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> the AX1 is uh, our first example in this product line. So the AX1 is a dual band whip and uh, it's, it uses a very high Q coil and okay. it's kind of a little hard to see down here, but there is a slide switch on the inside of the antenna. Okay. Um, that and when you flip that slide switch, you go between 20 and 17 meters. Okay, I was about to ask what two bands you talk yeah. about, but okay, good. So that's the native resonance, 20 and 17. And if you have a KX2 or a KX3, then you've got an automatic antenna tuner inside the rig, right. and it will also then cover 15 meters. Okay. So the auto tuner is really key to this whole thing. Okay. Because um, anybody who's used a short whip mm -hmm. knows that... The, uh, the resonant frequency is affected by ground conductivity mm -hmm. and height above ground and how, you know, like uh, your body capacitance and whether you got other <laughs> yeah. stuff attached to it. It's, it's just all over the map. How right? many trees are around you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like plus or minus 400 kilohertz. You know, right. It can be that far off. <clears throat> the auto tuner cures all those ills, mm -hmm. takes care of it, tunes it up on, uh, on whatever band. So in addition to the antenna itself, we've got the first two AX line accessories. Okay. So... This here is the, uh, the, what we call the whip bipod. Okay. Now, anybody who's shot a rifle before knows that a bipod is used to support the front edge of the rifle. Mm -hmm. So here, the bipod for the whip works with the, uh, the tilt stand on the back of the radio okay. to give us a nice solid support. So if you're operating anywhere from a picnic table to a granite surface, you know, yeah. any kind of rough surface, the uh, bipod will adapt to it and keep the antenna from rotating too much in the wind. Okay. Yeah. This okay. is, this is a, a previously unsolved problem in theoretical mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, then the other accessory we have is the, uh, the tripod adapter. Again, another uh, problem that uh, we hadn't seen solved before is how do you put a whip antenna that, with a B and C onto a tripod? Yes. So we had to roll our own. And we've got a few extra holes here for uh, guy wires or for t you know taller tripods, sure, or for connecting a uh, a ground radial. Um, okay. Now, a, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that if you're going to be using a radio like this handheld, okay, if you're going to transmit, you really have to have a counterpoise wire. Some people make the mistake of not not attaching a counterpoise wire, mm -hmm. in which case your transmit signal is going to be about one one hundredth, mm -hmm. literally, of what it would be otherwise. Okay. 20 dB down. So we supply the, the ground radial mm -hmm. uh, with the antenna. And just to put some numbers on it, I uh, finished building these first five prototypes last week, and I took, the, took one of the antennas out, just using the radio handheld, mm -hmm. running 10 watts, sideband, and CW, and data modes, mm -hmm. just from the KX2. Mm -hmm. I worked Japan and Europe, uh, Italy, um, wow. a few days ago. Really? And all over the country, Alaska and Hawaii. Where were you? In my home in California. 
just standing in my backyard. Really? Four foot whip and ten watts. Yeah. <laughs> so when the okay. band's open, you can. You well, can yeah. When the band's open, we just had so few band openings lately. It's just it's it's hard to believe. I'm like, what mountain did you climb up to do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Uh, Really, there are, there are openings all the time. It's just mm -hmm. you, you want to be there when it happens. Right. And I have never failed to go out an, on an outing and make contacts on this antenna Is that right? uh, at 10 watts. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, you got to got to make your own out, make your own openings. Right. But, um, right. This, the, so the KX line and the AX line mm -hmm. really are keeping with Ellicrest's philosophy of getting people out of their shack. Out of the shack. Right. Yeah. So right. Trying to keep the get, keep the weight down, uh -huh. let, give people uh, you know opportunities for travel and, and hiking, etc. That's great. So you said you designed these last week, or I've, you built, I built them? I built the first five prototypes just last last week. week. Yep. So when are you uh, expecting them to be available for purchase? So we uh, we have some parts to order. Um, okay. So it's probably it's going to be a couple of months. A couple um, of months. Right. Okay. So but, mid uh, mid summer. Yeah. Okay. Mid, mid to late, late summer, mid maybe. Late summer. So okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Yep. Well, great. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. That's It's always good to see new stuff at Hamvention, and that's what Hamvention's great for, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. Okay. okay. Well, uh, I got the I got both I got both the extreme ends of y'all's products. I got the 1500 watt legal limit amp, and right. then I got the little little uh, QRP antenna. So that's that's right. good to and see both of those things. One thing you won't see is me with a KPA 1500 under my arm and a whip on it. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> That'd be a heck of a whip, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Wayne. I appreciate yeah. it, man. Thanks, Jason. Uh -huh. Have a good show today. Yeah. Yeah. This episode of Ham Radio 2.0 is brought to you by the Greater Houston Ham Fest, one of Texas's largest Ham Fest shows, which takes place each year in March. For schedules and registration information, visit their website at www.houstonhamfest.org.